Over on Nitro then, we have got a noteworthy match between Steve Regal and Goldberg. Regal's last match of this WCW run because he got fired shortly after this bout. Let's check out the match first, and you guys know how Goldberg's been booked up to this point, so keep his run in the back of your mind. Goldberg grabs a side headlock and Regal counters with a snapmare. Regal then lays in a few kicks and look right here, you can see Goldberg doesn't know how to react or sell the kicks. We have seen Regal wrestle like this a million times and yes he lays it in, but he always lays it in. Regal then applies an armbar and you can see him tell Goldberg to take a wrist. Goldberg isn't so sure what to do next so Regal moves into a waist lock and Goldberg performs his rolling leg lock. A lock up results in Regal's back getting put against the rope so he hits Goldberg in the face and we see a few European uppercuts. Again, Goldberg doesn't know how to react and he just kinda stands there. Goldberg also doesn't go down when Regal tries a single leg takedown, so Regal says fuck it and he goes for the wrist, giving Goldberg another easy opportunity to counter and Goldberg tries a cover. When they go to get up, Regal kicks Goldberg in the face and Billy Boy now looks a little perplexed. It goes down to the mat where Regal out wrestles his opponent, but when they get to their feet, Regal again gets overpowered. Regal smacks Goldberg across the head and Goldberg replies with a takedown. Regal tries that single leg takedown again, Regal stands up and his wrist lock gets countered with a back suplex. He does make sure though that Goldberg doesn't perform the spear, and things get a bit sloppy when Regal shoots for the leg again and Goldberg messes up this neckbreaker. Goldberg performs a jumping shoulder tackle, Regal replies with some stiff shots in the corner, Goldberg then ends it with a spear followed by the jackhammer and that's it over. Before we talk about what actually happened here, Goldberg defeated Jim Powers on Thunder, he then defeated Disco Inferno on Saturday night, so this victory here against Regal makes Goldberg 31-0 according to our count. So the general consensus here is that Regal went into business for himself, he let in a lot of stiff shots and he made Goldberg look like shit by actually trying to wrestle Goldberg and force Goldberg out of his comfort zone. Regal spoke about this match a little more on his podcast, which comes highly recommended by the way, and Regal said that during this Goldberg match, he was just doing what he was told by the person backstage who was in charge of the match. Regal says Bischoff came out screaming at him after the match and Regal said to Bischoff, well I can't hit myself out there. And Regal says he didn't take liberties with Goldberg at all, he tried to get him through a 6 minute match because he was told to get him through a 6 minute match. And one of the saddest things about this was the fact that Regal was clean for weeks leading up to this match, he went cold turkey and he was making an effort to get his addictions under control. After this night and all the drama backstage, he relapsed. He says it's a poor excuse and people will find any old excuse to go back to their bad habits. But yeah, that's Regal done in WCW, but we will see him again down the road.